You put it on chapstick? <laughs> Will you put it on mommy's lips? She, this is one of her newest things she likes doing. Yeah, mama. She, she's putting it on her face because she's seen me do the Neosporin. I put Neosporin on my bumps, on my like scabs on my face, and so she does that. Good job. Put it on mommy's lips. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. She's so smart. So smart. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Good job. You can do it. Just take some practice. See? Look. Hey y'all, so I just learned a new little trick for cleaning if your sinks get clogged, which ours, we've been having a problem with that lately. So you put pour bacon, just regular baking soda, just a little tip that I didn't realize pour that and then just regular vinegar and pour that over it. And it's supposed to unclog your sink. So that's pretty awesome. So hopefully it works. Just cleaning up the kitchen. We just got done eating tacos. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Good job. She enjoyed her tacos. So I'm so glad we found something that she likes and that she can eat. So we know we can give her tacos, she likes pizza, oatmeal, grits, so there are some things that, you know, and then we can just build on those ideas. Glad you're eating a good breakfast, baby. She has some oatmeal with banana cut up in it, vitamin D drops, some Cheerios, and now some little waffles. They're like little cinnamon waffles. They're so good. She's like me. She loves breakfast, I guess. Breakfast food. Tell me a little We're about to do her hair. napping and for all my moms out there you know how precious nap time is and it's about to go down <laughs> good morning you think good Happy Saturday. I am mopping, cleaning up the kitchen. I just cleaned up a little bit. Ari and I just ate breakfast or like a brunch. Um, Joseph's taking a nap and Nora's taking a nap. So I am just about to use um, my steam mop to do the rest of my cleaning. The floors are filthy. This steam mop is the best, best $30 I've ever spent. Seriously, it's the best. Like, 
and knowing that the floors are clean, especially with Nora, you know, crawling around, is just, I love this thing. So that's what I'm doing. Then I'm about to either vacuum or file my taxes. Not sure which yet, but hope y'all having a good weekend, and I'll talk to you later. I am so tired. I've been cleaning. Um, I'm gonna try to come to a stopping point with cleaning and then go get a shower because we're gonna go see my dad at four. My dad and stepmom. So that'll be nice because we haven't seen them in a while. Um, so we're going to visit them. Just trying to get some cleaning done. As you can see, I just vacuumed, but we've got so much stuff and baby stuff everywhere. I'm about to just put most of it in her room and only have a, a few toys out at a time. But all this laundry over here has to be put up. It just feels never ending. Like, I feel like I'm the only one that cannot seem to get caught up or ahead on housework. I know I'm not alone. But it's just so hard with when you work full time and having, you know, a baby and two children, especially, well, Ari, you know, she's really um, to the point where she can, you know, pick up after herself and she actually helps me out. But um, with a toddler, it just feels like right when you clean up, you know, another mess, but that's just the way it goes. So, um, but I'm trying to get some cleaning done. And then I'm going to get a shower, we're going to go see my dad, and then tomorrow we're going to see Christy, my sister, and her new baby, and my, our brother-in-law, so, anyways, um, doesn't look like I'm going to get my taxes filed today, but maybe tomorrow, or maybe Monday or Tuesday, this will be more realistic, but, um, it just feels like it takes so long to get anything done, like, me and Ari ate brunch and then just cleaning up the kitchen took, feels like it takes forever. It's just like, anyways, <sighs> the work of a mother is never done. So anyways, talk to y'all later. If you're a mom and you feel like you don't have it all together, you haven't figured it out yet, I'm right there with you. Um, and I even have not one, but two kids, but I'm still trying to figure it out as far as like, you know, a cleaning schedule and stuff like that. But I think the trick is to um, take it day by day and, you know, don't be so hard on yourself. Um, just do what you can, you know, get as much as you can done in one day and then that's it. You know, that's all you can do is with the, your, the most you can do in one day you can only get so much done in one day so just I look the way I'm looking at it is if I do as much as I can do you know in one day and of course you can't spend the whole entire 24 hours cleaning so if you get you know a lot done and then that's that's it then you start over again the next day and eventually you know your house will get clean so that's my motto anyways that's what I'm Get, that's how I'm giving myself motivation, so um, eventually it'll get there, but I vacuumed, which had not been done in a long time, so it really needed vacuuming, and steam off the floors, um, I'm just finishing up vacuuming, and then I'm going to go take a shower and get ready, but I feel pretty good about, you know, getting a good amount done, so just gotta keep pushing.